One of the big issues with Moodle uh, and editing page content is that it's sort of a bit clunky in how the editor works. So I'm going to show you how to improve that in a way that makes it much, much quicker to edit content. And you have to understand HTML to do this, but it will improve your workflow. It will improve the whole process of how you develop your content when you're creating pages inside Moodle. So let me give you a quick demonstration first, and then I'll go back through the process and show you how to put that all together so it works. To do this, we have to add a plugin uh, to Chrome, and I'm assuming you're using Chrome. If not, if you're using Firefox, there's also a plugin for Firefox, but we're going to install this little product that I've actually got up here already for you, which is called Ghost Text. Now, how does Ghost Text work? Ghost Text work. Ghost Text connects to, or does a live connection to an editing program, in my case, it's Sublime. And that means that I can edit content that's inside a page in Moodle. Uh, when I've got the editor open, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, I can edit that content in a text editor and it happens live. So for this to make complete sense, I'm in a page at the moment in Moodle. If I select edit, edit settings, I scroll down to the page. I go up here to ghost text. You'll see that two areas have highlighted. I'm going to choose the bottom one. And as soon as I did that, you'll notice a little box open on the left, which is sublime text. And it has some code inside that. So I'm just going to show you what that is. That code over on the left is actually the HTML code that is inside this page on the right. To check that, I can actually go in and show you. There, we've just uh, clicked on the drop down arrow and the HTML item. And you'll see now that we have heading three, heading three over on the left. I have heading three, there's heading three. I have a paragraph with, with a bold tag around it and the word bold, same on the left. So if I take us back now from the HTML editing inside Moodle, uh, click back on the HTML edit icon, we're back to our normal text. Over on the left, I can now copy this fourth list item, paste it in and change it to list item five. And you'll notice over on the far right, it's now updated list item is number five. So it's dynamically connecting sublime text to the page content. Now you might think what's the point in that there when I can just do this and edit that. The biggest difference is there is a lot of things that sublime text can do that this text editor can't do. Things like find and replace or cleaning up code, things like adding in snippets of code. So if there's something that you're always putting back into a page, some HTML code, you can do that from sublime text. It's much, much faster, much cleaner and it automatically updates back in the Moodle page in here. So what I'm going to do next is show you how to set all of this up so that it will work on your computer. A few things to do. First of all, install Sublime Text. So if we go to sublimetext.com, you can see we can download Linux, Mac, and Windows versions of Sublime Text. So let's go to, in my case, for a Mac, download for Mac, and it will now download Sublime Text down in the bottom left. Once it's complete, uh, we'll then go in and install Sublime Text. Sublime Text has now been downloaded. So let's open Sublime Text. So there it is in the Applications folder. Sublime Text is just in here now. And I'm also going to add a shortcut down the bottom so I can get to Sublime Text nice and quick. Let's just check Sublime Text is working. It is an app. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we can. And there is Sublime Text. It's an unregistered version, but that's okay. That's all we need to worry about so far is to just know that Sublime Text has been installed. Now to use Ghost Text, we also need to install the Ghost Text plugin, which goes into Chrome. So this is an add-on or extension to Chrome. So if we go into Chrome, go to Web Store and search for Ghost Text, which we'll do, you'll see it's called Ghost Text. That's the icon there. We will install that or add to Chrome. There is an introductory video here as well explaining how to set this up. So you can use that video if you prefer, totally up to you. Go to add to Chrome, add extension. You can see now up here on the top right, we have the ghost text Chrome extension has been added. So that's up in these extensions. Now I'm just going to change it so that ghost text is pinned, meaning it will stay up there all the time because I'll make use of that. And I might just move it over to the start as well. So ghost text is nearly ready to go. There's still one more thing to do yet. We now need to complete the installation. 
in Sublime Text. So let's go to Sublime Text. And if we go to Tools and Command Palette, which you'll get very used to using, go into Command Palette. And the first thing we need to do is install a component that probably isn't there if this is the first time you used it. This is the package controller. So we're going to type in package control, install package control, select that. Package control was successfully installed. So that's good. We needed that first off. We select OK. We go back again to command palette. So we've now got package control. As part of package control, it now lets us install packages. So we can go install package. We need to wait a little while while it goes and finds all the packages. We are going to find ghost text, which you can see is the second one here. Click on ghost text. You'll see it's come up with a message here with some information about ghost text and what it is and how it works. That's all we had to do. And it does mention they're installing the Chrome extension. There's also a Firefox version as well of that extension. So uh, that can be added to Firefox. So if you prefer Firefox, go for it. You can install that one. You can see that we now have Moodle open. On the left-hand side, I have Sublime Text open. No content at all in there. But over on the right-hand side where I'm looking at Moodle, if I go to our little icon up here that says Ghost Text and I click on it, you'll see two areas highlighted and they're the text areas. If I click on the second text area, you'll see that over on the left, the code has now opened up to show me the code for that particular bit of content. And you'll see it's added in ID, UE, and a heap of numbers. That's just part of what Moodle does to understand what the content is when it's editing it. So you just ignore those at the moment. But let's say I would like to add another list item. I can copy that code in the left-hand side, paste it and change it to list item number five. And if I like, I can get rid of the IDs just to make it visually easy for you to look at at the moment. So we have list item four, list item five. Notice on the right, it's added list item five for me dynamically. Now, if I go to the right-hand side, add a new list item and call it list item six, you'll notice that that's been appearing on the left-hand side, not formatted nicely, but it has appeared on the left-hand side as well. So I'm just gonna fix up that formatting. So as you can see, uh, if on the left, You'll notice I've got bold just as a paragraph. If I now go to the right-hand side, highlight that writing and select B for bold, it's made the writing bold on the right. On the left, where we have a bold, it's now added a B tag or a bold tag around the word bold. Same with italic. If I go to italic and make it italic, we now have the letter I or the tag around that code. So I can edit the code on the left or the code on the right. Uh, or the page on the right, and it will dynamically update either way. Once I've finished, I don't need to save on the left. All I need to do is save on the right hand right hand side, save and display, and it saves that code. Notice now that this icon over here still says editing page, but the little dot has changed color. That means I'm no longer editing that page content. If I want to go back into it again, I select edit settings, scroll down, uh, choose a ghost text icon at the top, and it's now picked up that page content again. You notice it's cleaned it up and removed all those IDs that were in there. That's just part of what Moodle does when it saves and reloads. And I'm ready now to do whatever I need to do. So I can take that back to two list items, just uh, list items one, two, three, and four, get rid of the last two, which is now updated on the right-hand side. So anything I do on the left-hand side will happen on the right while that blue area is selected around it. And that's how ghost text works. It allows you to do all of that editing, which saves you going into the HTML code area and looking at it like this, and then having to jump back to see what it looks like. You can actually edit it live. So it's live editing on the left-hand side while it happens on the right. Hopefully you find that extremely useful. And I do all the time. I use this for so many different things. Uh, it speeds up the workload that I'm doing. I'm often copying code directly into Sublime Text, which is then editing it in the main content. So much faster, so much quicker. You then can also add in all the different features that Sublime Text does, like code formatting, adding in snippets where you can just paste in certain bits of code as you need them. It's much, much faster to use. So hopefully you found that really useful. Awesome little bit of product. Enjoy.